That's a cat. That's a cast. All right, guys, we gotta be real quiet. We gotta keep our voices down. We're out here crappy fishing today on the Chippewa Flowage up in Hayward. It's super sunny out. There it is. There it is. It just pulled up into the trees, and I think we're gonna catch a pretty good. Stay tuned. Look at this big, beautiful North Bay. Mud bottom, lots of timber. You think there's any crappies up there? I'll tell you what, there, there might be a couple. Stay tuned. Should, we find, should we find out? That's what I'm, I'm telling them, stay tuned. Watch this for like two minutes. I think we're gonna find a couple. So what we are doing today, we're obviously out here chasing crappies. We're on the chip of flowage up in here, Wisconsin. Um, the cool part about the flowage is that it's this huge reservoir. It's like 15, 17,000 acres, something like that. And there's like endless bays that look just like this. Um, so we gotta do some hunting around and uh, we're gonna try to find one of these bays that is just chock full of crappies. We finally have water temps that are like in the 50 plus degree range. We have beautiful high skies as you can see right here. And uh, these are the kind of days, the last few crappie videos you saw us make were in deep water. These fish had not moved up yet. Today we're gonna show you how to catch these fish when they move up into a lot of the shallow cover. Will we catch them, Mitchell? I think so, I think so. We'll see. Stay tuned, we're hopefully gonna smash some crappies. Sure you whisper though. Oh, yeah, gotta keep it quiet. Wrestling. Gotta keep it quiet. Don't want to spook them. Nice, beautiful spring copy right there. That is exactly what we're after. I'm not a super big, huge crappie fisherman, but anytime you can cast them like up in the trees like this, it's a ton of fun. We're gonna let them go. Let's get some more. This is too much fun. I don't know why I fished for pretty much everything, but uh, catching crappies in the spring when you're target fishing like this is always a blast. It is the absolutely the nicest day I've been in a boat so far this year. Look at that beautiful chip of flowage crappie right there. We're gonna let him go because there is a pile of them around this tree back here. I think we have a little bigger one, maybe, no? Maybe not bad. It's not, not bad. A little eater size, I, I guess, if you're into that stuff. Not big, but the males always push up here first, so. Beautiful. Beautiful collar. Little crop dog. Little crop dog. Is that camera a little too close to me, man? No. Yeah, back Try. up like six feet? Trying to make a fish like this. Or something like that? All right. All right, guys, so basically how I'm fishing this, taking it and I'm casting it close to a lot of this kind of down timber we're fishing. And I just let it sit there for a second. And uh, especially if you're fishing plastics, you almost gotta be kind of twitching that bobber a little bit. Cast it out, pop it a few times, let it sit. You gotta remember this is kind of a cover and water thing. You know, you're, you're, you're not trying to just sit there, sit there, sit there. You know, twitch it a few times, see if it goes down like it did right there. And uh, you know, you're gonna catch a lot more fish if you're just kind of continuously popping that bobber. Pop, pop, let it sit, pop, pop, let it sit. Uh, but super easy to do, uh, but just keep in mind that if you do keep twitching that swing, especially if you're fishing a plastic, then you guys are going to catch a lot more crappies. I think we have a nice one. Hooked up. We are hooked up. Oh yeah, another, look at that little crop dog. Another crop dog. Look at ooh, this one. This one's the biggest one of the day. That is a nice Biggest one. fish of the day usually goes to me. You notice that? Anybody who actually follows this YouTube channel over the years. Did you catch the biggest one this morning? Uh, maybe not, but typically I said look I that. the biggest one. Beautiful crop dog. Uh, look at that. Beautiful. Nice, crappie. pretty fish. Thank 
fish here, bunch of all. Got another crop oh, dog. Ooh, that. that that's a nice crop that's dog. That's definitely a better one right there. You know, a lot of times when these fish pull up into a lot of these big shallow bays, you get feet or uh, males coming up first. So a lot of times there'll be a lot of smaller fish, kind of like we're catching today. But uh, there's obviously a few females mixed in. Sometimes you can get like right on the outside of the bay and catch some bigger ones, but it's honestly just too much fun for the amount of fish we're catching. And we're getting a few nice ones to not be up fishing the trees right now. Beauty. All right, guys, so the setup's really pretty simple for doing this. Um, you know, some kind of light, ultralight action rod, and uh, you can either fish without a bobber or a bobber. For a lot of this kind of spot fishing like this, I like fishing with a bobber, because you can kind of let that jig sit there a little bit more. Um, you know, you, you can obviously cast the jig out and kind of work it back, uh, but a bobber gives you an option to stop that bait, just let it hang there, obviously. So we're basically just fishing. You can, there's a million different kinds of these cheaper, uh, just kind of like clamp on bobbers. And uh, then just down to a very light jig. This time you're gonna catch way more fish with a very light jig. It's a 30 second ounce. The only other size I would use is a 64 ounce. And you just use the weight of the bobber basically to get it out there. And the reason you want that super light jig is so if you're popping that bobber along, that that jig's not just like, it's not just sitting there with you. You want that super light jig, so if you pop that bobber, it kind of goes thunk, thunk, and then kind of glides back down. You want that bait kind of moving as much as it possibly can without really moving that quickly or that far. So that's kind of the setup there. Another thing to think about is, especially when you get these high skies, sunny days, these big time warm ups in the spring, is that a lot of these fish are very high. It's like five, six feet behind us. We do not want to set that bobber at four feet. You can see I'm set about a foot down, 10 inches down. A lot of these fish are sitting very high in the water and a lot of times you'll see them out there busting on the surface. So it's really easy to come in here, get around fish and only catch a few because you're fishing so far down towards the bottom. Keep those baits up high and uh, you're gonna catch a whole bunch more fish. Doesn't really matter too much if you're using mono or braid. But uh, having a nice reel that you can cast and uh, fish good with uh, on, in a smaller size is great. This is the Pissy Fun Carbon X 1000. I fish a lot of the 2000. The 1000 I use a ton for ice fishing. It's also a great like finesse walleye uh, jig rod reel and it's great for crappies too. So we're going to get back after it catch a whole bunch of crappies. Because they're all over right there. <laughs> What do you got, big dog? You got, a, you got a giant. This little crop dog right there. That's what it's all about. You got a boat that just saw us catch this one. Just blatant, just a blatant <laughs> fish coming out of the surface. So we're not going to be alone here so soon? We're not, we're not going to be alone for very long. But spring crappies, too much fun. Let's catch some more. Hooked up. Just a giant. He's hooked weird. I think he like rolled sideways. Yeah. Looks like, a, look like a muscle lunge. Actually, you, why is that camera like so close? You genuinely have that fish by the side. I'll tell you what, guys. That's how thick they are up here, though. It takes a lot of skill to snag one of these. Like, holy cow. <laughs> beauty. Just Bring. a beauty. It's like our, uh, I don't know, second fish. <laughs> <laughs> What do you think? I think we smashed them, right? We did. There was crappies in this bay. Spring crappie fishing is an absolute ton of fun. Uh, I get to fish for pretty much everything there is. Big walleyes, trout, and uh, crappie fishing in the spring, especially when you're target fishing like this, casting at logs, casting at shoreline, watching fish bust on the surface is always a ton of fun. Was it a good time, Mitchell? It was. It's, I mean, it's fun just going right back to the basics, bobber, hook, so simple. <laughs> Honestly, it was a lot of fun. It is. We're going to go film something else today, but we almost even want to stay here, even though we're probably going to go catch a bunch of big bass and stuff like that. Um, but it was just a lot of fun. And uh, if you guys are looking to get out, catch a whole bunch of these early season crappies up shallow, this is literally just the start. This bite's going to go on for probably another month, depending on where you are, northern Wisconsin, northern Minnesota. We finally have water temps in some of these shallow stained lakes. That's the key. These are the lakes that pop the quickest for these fish coming in shallow. So uh, get out there, catch a whole bunch of crappies, and uh, you guys will have an awesome time this spring. Anything else? Uh, you want to do the punch out? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Stay tuned, subscribe. Do a whole bunch of other, uh, keep watching the videos, and I appreciate that, and uh, we'll see you guys next time.